All right, Land of Insect. This is another one just like Land of Giant Bee, basically, except there are more of them coming out in droves. These, these bees, and of course, just like last time, you don't want to, you don't want to eat the baby amphibians. I mean, it's hard to kill them anyway. You, even with your tusking, or we don't have the tusking jaws anymore. We have the fierce jaws. Even with those, it takes two points to, or two hits to kill them. So they're they're not even worth going after. But I'm just trying to get some meat here. We're going to get out of here pretty quickly, and we're going to move on to a somewhat easy boss. We're going to face one of a couple of giant bees that's going to that's gonna show up here in the latter half of the amphibian age. And this, in case you can't tell what I'm doing here, you can actually go down through ledges by holding down and pressing the jump button. So we're going to leave along with the bees. Those bees, man. These insects, they're just... They're just wrecking everything, but we're gonna ooch like the two pixels up to the cave here. And we're gonna take on King Bee. King Bee is Oh. Oh, that must be the Oh. Oh my. I was supposed to try and persuade the King Bee. Oh gosh. Well. Looks like they do not negotiate those bees. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them that with my fierce jaws. Yeah, just eat the food that's digesting in my dying stomach. Well, not quite the king bee, but we'll see what's going on. This is not a good age for amphibians to live in. They're just getting bullied all over the place. Yep, that's the dudes. And he will give us his flashing meat, which is worth a thousand evo points, which might come in a little handy up here, actually, because we can use the evolution trick for a very cheap cost, let's see, back of the head parts, they all cost 300 apiece. And if we just flat out remove them, then we can actually evolve and re-evolve at like 400. We have a few chances to evolve and, and gain our health points back is what I'm saying. So hopefully this won't, this won't go too awry here. You want to go ahead and uh, eat these larva things before they get too out of hand. Hey, they're worth 20 apiece, though. That's pretty cool. And if you just eat the egg before it's able to hatch, you get life points out of it. But a little better to let them hatch. We're going to rack up what Evo points we can. Oh, you think you're going to jump on me? You think you're a tough guy? I don't think so. You can tell which ones are going to crack open. They're a slightly gray or gray. There we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and... I guess I'll use... This... Yeah, the the non-attack bite for you. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's just eat eggs until something happens, I suppose, because not a whole lot going on around here. Maybe you have to kill all the little larva then. Alright, there's eggs sitting around for life and they respawn. That's good. Yeah, it looks like we had to kill all the little blue slug things crawling out of the eggs. Which I assume grow into bees? I don't know how... I don't know how entomology works. Yes, I have. I have, but I look awesome too, so there's that going for me. That that doesn't seem right. If you devour all the plant life, how will you be able to pollinate flowers? How will you go on living? You are so stupid, bees! Aha! Uh -huh. So now, Mr. King Bee is going to make his way in, and King Bee is not very threatening. He might try to throw a few stingers at us, but he's pretty slow. He's kind of a... Uh, uh, see, there they... Holy crap! But I guess the evolution trick is going to come in handy right now. Yikes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give ourselves a Japrol. And that's only going to take off a few of our evolution points. But yeah, you don't want to get caught in that non-cycle right there. Okay, that's that was weird. Okay, only got off one stinger. The important thing is to not let him get off any stingers. But the King Bee is redonk easy. It's not the King Bee we have to worry about, though. I just got cheated out of some... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It still registered off screen. That's cool. Oh, hello, Mr. Dragonfly. You may call me Megausu. Megausu. What? Well, but I just did, so it doesn't really doesn't matter anymore. 
I will give you some advice. Really? Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't suppose I really need to. Seeing as I've already pretty much maxed out all my body parts. Wait, you just said there were no strong enemies ahead. I don't like you, Megausu. And I suggest you die! Ha 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 ha! Take that, Megausu. We will not be seeing him ever again, I'm totally sure of it. But now it's just a few levels onward and upward. They're spaced very far apart now, and there are only a few left before we get to the Amphibian Age. Desert of Sand Eater. We're going to ignore the Sand Eaters. You can't really eat them or anything, so we're just going to jump over it when they try to barf sand onto us. It's like somebody buried a bunch of... Oh my god. Well, they are really taking us out here. I think if we, if we get too far... Oh crap. Well, let's go ahead and let's... We got a bunch of Evo points from the King Bee's death, so... We can do with evolving a few little things. And there's a green crystal for when we want to use something in the record line. Those do accumulate, so... We have three chances to evolve into something else, I think, if I've been keeping count correctly. Maybe three, possibly four. This is a long, sand-eaten desert right here, but yeah, you want to skip those guys entirely, because... They're just up to no good. Now we're going to make the long trek across the continent. Apparently a very uneventful journey. Edosaurus. You can't get through here if your body is still the same. Oh, I can see where we're moving on to next then. Excellent. Era of plants and insects has ended. Well, I guess in all that time I've been... Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are not a nice dude, but at least you give me enough... At least you give me... Shit, dude. You're like a cheap-ass roundhouse in Ryu or something. Okay, jumping on him is not going to do much good. But it does seem to be the safest defense, actually. Okay, and that's going to get me up to near full again. Hey, these little guys. They're easy. I can deal with them. Alright, let's get out of here while we still have something resembling full health. Those Edosaurs. Not nice dudes. And now we're going to move on down to the, I believe, Desert of Musochop. And that's going to be the last level we play, actually, before we finish up the Age of the Amphibians here. This is going to be... This last half of the chapter moves pretty quickly. Oh, crap. Wow, boy, he wastes no time. Whoa, so as soon as they pop up out of the sand, you want to get chomping. Oh, wow, that... Oh, that double team was not nice. And only one... Okay, what do they get? What? 400? Dang, that's nice for flashing me. What is the 60? Wow. So this is a good place to build up some Evo points, because believe you me, we're going to be needing them for the battle up ahead. We're going to go ahead and just rack up what we can here. They're going to pop up out of the sand, and we're going to eat on them. We're going to feast on Muso Chop, or Mosu Chop, or whatever they're called. Don't seem to be too many of them popping up out anymore, so I say we're done here, and we're going to move on, and, well, we're going to try to move on to the next, next, the next age, yeah, but as you can see, we're not going to be very successful. And now we're going to move on, and we're going to take down that final boss in style. And the final boss is the Queen Bee, as you can see... A recurring theme through this game, a little bit of a recurring theme anyway, is going to be that the mamas are generally much tougher than the daddies. Hey, what are you doing? I ate you. You died. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Well, you're going to die again just for being an insolent prick. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, that, that was me. I own up to my mistakes. You destroyed the laws of our insect society. Uh-oh. Well, society is crumbling. There's nothing you can do about it, lady. No, not only your society was destroyed. You were destroying amphibian society. These bees. You cannot make these bees see reason. All they know is stinging and making honey. Uh-oh. I don't like this. And we're going to have to be quick on the uptake because she wastes no time at all. Where is she? There oh, she is. Holy crap. All right. This is what you want to do. She's going to throw three stingers at you. And each one hits us for seven apiece, it looks like. Ah, we got her down on the ground, though. This is good. But she's going to throw three stingers. You basically want to jump over one. Oh, hey, 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 hey. 
You want to jump over one so that one will go up in the air. Holy crap. You don't want her to chomp on you, whatever you do. But I think we're... Oh, shit. That one's headed straight for me. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, take a little bit of evolution here. Going to go ahead and get that Japral back. Hopefully I... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, and I lose a little more health with the Japral, too. Ah! Well, I guess we can look forward to having half the Evo points. God dang it. That sucks. Well, we're going to go back in and we're going to do that one again. Oh, my lord. You can see how that's a very hard fight, even with just evolution points. She really gangs up on you. Okay. Where is she? I guess we're going to have to move a little bit forward. Ah, ha, ha, ha. But the Japral, I guess, does more damage, so... Much more useful, and we've got the speed. We don't want to waste any time this time. Oh, crap. There she goes. So, yeah, the Japral actually helps you do the most offensive damage, so it's actually a better back of the head to have than the Moramar, which we've been keeping around. And, of course, the second time, I totally take around style. 2,000 Evo points that we're not going to be needing at all, and we're just going to move on like nothing happened. Balance of Nature, which the giant insects destroyed... Sentence which is already starting off making not a lick of sense whatsoever will recover. Well, that's good. We're just going to leave it up to nature then, I guess, to. Or were the plants that were destroyed, will they totally grow back again? <laughs> Gnarly, dude. Well, that's good. Uh oh. Ah, crap. We're getting a new body. So that means back to zero evolutionary points. Back to completely sucking. Back to probably a good old round of grinding. This is just not going to be any fun whatsoever. So yeah, probably a little bit more grinding from this point onward. But that's going to become less and less so as we move on. Because from the third chapter on, we're going to be given a little more freedom to choose the body we want. Ooh, but that is, the possibilities are definitely open to us. This is going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, we've got lots of different possibilities. But Oh, crap, it just occurred to me. Forgot to, forgot to save the amphibian body to the record, but I don't think there's any reason we're going to want to evolve that. Oh, uh, this is not such a great power. It's going to make me suck. I'm going to have these long, stiff-looking legs and an ugly turtle beak, and I'm tiny, and I have crappy jaws, and man, I just, I just always hate the beginning of a new chapter. But let's get our narration from Gaia, and then let's set off for today. Uh, oh, by the way... By the way, no, it wasn't the King Bee that was responsible for the crystal. It's something substantially weirder. I don't think King Bees are even capable of making things like that. Strange indeed, but we're just gonna elide over it for now and forget that exists. We're gonna get right on to dinosaurs. Uh huh. These creatures are called dinosaurs because of bingo, their dino DNA. Dinosaur because of their strength? I'm going to have to look up the etymology of that one. Word origin is kind of a neat little hobby of mine, but we're going to take off for today, and I'm going to try to figure out how dinosaur, the word dinosaur, relates to strength. And uh, we'll solve all that later while... We're stuck up here in the corner of the map with our little reptilian self. We're going to stop here for today, and tomorrow we will explore the Age of Reptiles more fully. You can see this is a much bigger map than before, so we're going to be going to lots of different places. The Reptile Age is where the game really starts picking up, getting fun. So we're going to have a blast. I'll see you guys tomorrow.